the sound of the crashing waves doesn't ruin the sound on this video but I just thought I'd grab a few minutes here just uh, for a little chat I've been thinking about uh, Mrs. Finney's request for a Royal Commission into veteran suicide um, and specifically about people's objections to that request. I know the Minister is not too keen on having a Royal Commission. Uh, also veterans groups or the Association of Veterans Groups, whatever it's actually called, has also come out and said we shouldn't bother with a Royal Commission. Uh, a lot of the argument is to do with first of all a Royal Commission is unlikely to actually have any actual effect on the ground in terms of while it may examine the issues of why veterans commit suicide it and it can make recommendations on how to prevent it but at the end of the day a Royal Commission is not going to have any real power to enact change they can make recommendations and a minister whoever it is at the time by the time we get there can turn around and you know accept or reject any or all or some of the recommendations of a royal commission now of course a royal commission will have right to its recommendations and you know will be tired any minister who rejects a royal commission recommendations but he does have the power to do so but then there's the other argument that's getting around and that being that while veteran suicide is a big issue and it should be looked at people are arguing that it probably shouldn't be looked at in isolation we should look at veterans suicide in the big picture of suicide generally across the nation now while suicide across the nation is also an issue my experience my personal experience with committees and with reviews and everything where you tie an issue where you tie one issue that you want to examine you tie it into something bigger the bigger issue will consume the smaller issue and if the bigger issue is too big or too hot to handle or too expensive or whatever it will get thrown out or it will it will have less likelihood of success because it is so big and when you throw that out you throw out the other issue it's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater so while the intent might be right the result is that the little issue you want to deal with not that not that veteran suicide is a little issue but in the grand scheme of things veteran suicide taken inside the picture of national suicide will lose you will lose the veteran suicide picture inside the big picture and when you throw the big picture out and you probably will the little picture goes with it but what irks me and some other people I've been talking to is it's not the fact that people are making that argument that we should look at the whole the whole suicide issue the irk the bad thing about that argument for me and for the other veterans that I've been talking to on this issue is that the people let, hang on let me be blunt veteran groups veteran organizations veteran aid organizations and the body that seems to call itself a representative of all the groups has come out and said let's not focus on veterans let's focus on the country well that's bullshit because veteran groups should look out for veterans let the national groups look out for national issues 
veteran groups should focus on the people that they are there to focus on. The whole reason for being for those veteran groups is to focus on veteran issues. So focus on veteran issues. Veterans organizations should not object to veteran to that Royal Commission because they are there, they are elected, they are paid, they are supported by the community to represent veterans. So they should focus on veterans and let the representative groups of the bigger picture look after the bigger picture. That's my two cents worth. Another argument I wanted to make about this issue was look it's like this with my with my experience and knowledge limited as it is in the government sphere in the defense sphere in the sphere of committees and reviews a royal commission will achieve diddly in terms of actually doing stuff for the problem on the ground but that's not the point if mrs finney goes out and says she wants a royal commission because her son committed suicide then mrs finney is entitled to make that demand if mrs finney was the only person making that demand then sure object to it because what's one person's voice but it isn't one person's voice mrs finney and i'll check the numbers before i edit this but mrs finney has achieved x number of supporters signatures on her um what is it go from me not go from me the other one anyway that thing x number of hundreds of thousands of people have supported mrs finney in calling for a royal commission now who out there has the right who out there has the arrogance to say no to a royal commission when that many people have demanded one knowing in my heart of hearts that a royal commission won't actually achieve anything in itself it's just the fact that a committee of that magnitude and that authority gets to sit down and command that people talk to it and command that people listen to it that will air the issue that in itself that's the cathartic element of a royal commission so maybe that in itself is good enough or maybe that in itself is the next great step to mrs finney's growing campaign in memory of her son you know i think mrs finney has gotten herself into a situation where the loss of a son is, is it's terrible and now that she's advanced on this campaign for a royal commission she has gotten herself into a situation where she is the focus the point man for this campaign she has gotten herself into a situation where this campaign is the rest of her life and if she doesn't get a royal commission out of her current campaign then she will keep campaigning in all likelihood until uh, until she gets it or until it kills her too so she should probably get success on this campaign except that in her case i i don't fear i i suspect and i sympathize that getting the results she seeks be careful what you wish for getting the results she seeks will then set her on the, t the next big step in what will be a lifetime campaign and maybe that's a good thing you know maybe she will 
have focus and drive and that will be the thing that keeps her going for the rest of her life after her son has been lost it's very sad but who out there has the right who out there thinks they are that arrogant that they can say no to that woman who has x hundreds of thousands of people behind her demanding a royal commission give it to her give it to the country give it to the veterans uh, I'm slightly distracted right now I can see about 10 K's that way there's two whales having a whale of a time loving their lives leaping clean out of the water <laughs> too far away for a GoPro to see but take my word for it they're having a good time anyway that's my two cents worth on that subject tell you a few technical things about my video making this morning I clipped the GoPro onto a signpost on the side of a cliff and stood behind the signpost where the Sun was reflecting uh, onto my face so that's how I achieved that lighting effect I hope it worked too warm to wear the jacket now. Beautiful day. Why am I wearing the shirt? I'm glad you asked. Tuesday, every Tuesday. I wear the loud shirt. Pretend I'm happy. Because I am happy. How could you not be happy living here? 